Good evening. Sarah Morgenthau, Special Representative of the Office of Commercial and Business Affairs of the United States SATEDEP, will sit down with the first analytical tonight. Madam Morgenthau, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to be here. What brings you to Armenia? So I am the uh, Special Representative for Commercial and Business Affairs at the Department of State in, in Washington, D.C. Uh, so it really is my job uh, to help pave the way for U.S. companies uh, so that they have opportunities to level the playing field uh, as they are um, competing uh, with, with other companies. But ultimately, it's about uh, growing the bilateral relationship uh, between Armenia and the United States. Uh, the trade rate relationship uh, since 2020 has almost quadrupled. Uh, and U.S. business has been a big part of it, and I think the business climate now is even riper uh, for, for, for even more opportunity. Uh, we thought it was important uh, at this uh, sort of moment of inflection, if you will, uh, when the relationship between U.S. and Armenia could not be stronger. Uh, we had the high-level uh, strategy uh, meeting in Brussels, uh, where your Prime Minister and our Secretary of State uh, had conversations about the importance of the relationship. Uh, we just had a strategic dialogue uh, last week uh, where we uh, promised to upgrade uh, that relationship. Uh, and all of this is in part uh, because of the tremendous and exciting things that are happening uh, in your country, uh, the reforms, uh, the economic growth. And, and we want to be, we're here to message. I'm here along with our Deputy Secretary, uh, uh, Rich Verma, who is the highest level um, official um, from the State Department uh, to visit Armenia, from what I understand. The U.S. has committed to raise Armenia's economic and energy stability. As you mentioned, the strategic dialogue will be upgraded to strategic partnership. What does this translate into, economically speaking? What opportunities does this open up for Armenian and U.S. businesses? I think it opens up tremendous opportunities. I think what it, it is, it, it's, it's a reflection of the fact that the Armenia uh, economic trade relationship could not be stronger. It's a reflection of the fact that uh, tremendous reforms, um, t a tremendous tilt uh, by this country uh, away from Russia uh, toward uh, the United States and the West, uh, and we see that as a good thing. Uh, I think that we have uh, uh, tremendous shared values, and that's in part because of your very strong uh, diaspora community, uh, where you're seeing um, people uh, traveling between the United States and Armenia and, and bringing uh, that back. Uh, so this, this is an opportunity to really say uh, that uh, we think that the strength of the bilateral trade relationship is really strong and we are here and committed to growing it even, in, even stronger. What would you advise to a United States company that is looking to invest in Armenia? come to Armenia. I mean, it's, 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 it's exciting here. I mean, even in the 24 hours that I've been here, uh, and I will be here for several days, um, going to Girami to see your tech center, to see some of your STEM schools. Uh, I was on a plane yesterday uh, filled with high school students from Glendale, Cal California, uh, who are here for internships um, because of um, the STEM and tech uh, capabilities. Armenia has established itself really as a tech hub uh, and a you know, center for the world. Uh, and I I think that there are, are really great opportunities for U.S. companies. And look, U.S. companies know that. Um, U.S. companies are here already. I think there's over 70 of them. Uh, I just spoke to a number of them uh, in, at the AmCham meeting, uh, and, and they, they are excited uh, about it and, and want to work with us uh, in, a, in a very you know, sort of meaningful way um, to talk about what's going well, what the challenges are. That being said, it's because everybody sees the opportunity. Which sectors besides IT that you already mentioned would you advise U.S. companies to invest in? I think tech is important. I think digital is important. I think uh, energy is important, especially, you know, it's a shift away from Russia. I think there's real uh, opportunities there. Um, food security uh, is, is another one uh, that, that, that's really important. Financial services is also important. Uh, you know, these are uh, a number of the sectors uh, that I, I think um, uh, see real opportunity here. It is true that the Armenian government is shifting towards democracy and away from Russia. However, there is also a heavy dependence on Russia, economically speaking as well. What does your administration do to help Armenia decrease its economic dependence and to diversify its economy? 
So, you know, I think that that's something that we're doing globally, but we're certainly doing it with Armenia uh, and, and see that as an opportunity. Uh, we applaud Armenia um, for, for its, its shift away. Uh, I guess if there was a silver lining uh, out of the uh, Russia-Ukraine war, uh, it would be with, with that change uh, of dynamic. Uh, you know, one of the things that they're seeing is the energy dependence on Russia. Uh, and, and we see this, uh, you know, across the globe, right, which is, you know, something that came out of uh, sort of a terrible situation uh, you know, whether it's the pandemic, whether it's the Russia-Ukraine war, and we saw, um, you know, real supply chain um, bottlenecks and the need for diversification. Uh, and I think Armenia uh, has very much uh, caught on to that. And, and we are pleased, and we're pleased to work with Armenia. And last but not least, I'd like to ask a personal question. Your grandfather, Henry Morgenthau, used to be the U.S.'s ambassador in the Ottoman Empire in 1915 as well, when the Armenian Genocide happened. He is known to have um, tried to weigh in with Talat Pasha and to stop the massacres that were going on. What does the mention of genocide evoke in you? personally, family memories, what do you associate it with? And what is the influence of the U.S.'s recent recognition of the Armenian genocide on U.S.-Armenian relations, practically speaking? So my great-grandfather, Henry Morgenthau Sr., uh, was uh, the U.S. ambassador um, uh, to the Ottoman Empire and was uh, arrived in Constantinople in 1913. Uh, I think that uh, he himself uh, was a Jew from Germany. He came here as a young boy, uh, had an, uh, an accent, uh, and so uh, I think his own um, uh, immig immigrant status, you know, made him uh, really um, sort of identify uh, with the Armenians, if you will. It, it is something that um, tore at his soul uh, and that he talked about, as you said, uh, to the young Turks uh, in Constantinople uh, and also sounding the alarm bell. Uh, in Washington. Uh, it's why, in some ways, he, uh, it, it, and part of the reason why he left in 1916, uh, be, because of the horrible situation, but he then went on uh, to start the Near East uh, Foundation uh, and ra raise money uh, for refugees. Uh, the Armenian people uh, are family uh, to the Morgenthaus. Uh, we have had four generations of close, close uh, friendships. Uh, they have always been in and out of my house. I love the food. Uh, and uh, and, 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 I, and it resonates me with, with me since I was a little girl, you know, heard those stories. Um, genocide is, is a big word, and I am grateful for President Biden for uh, ensuring uh, that the U.S. recognize uh, the Armenian genocide uh, for what it was. And, and I think it's big. I think it's a signal uh, from the United States about the importance of human rights, of all rights, of, of genocide, uh, and that we can't uh, allow this to happen. Uh, and I think it was an important uh, signal uh, to the Armenian people uh, who had fought hard uh, for this uh, to happen. It took over a hundred years and I'm grateful for to the United States and to President Biden. I'd say on a personal note that uh, this trip is uh, very emotional for me in, in many ways. I just had the opportunity to see the genocide memorial um, and to see um, a plaque uh, to my great grandfather. I feel enormously um, honored uh, to be here um, from the State Department uh, to continue to help Armenia grow. Uh, as I said, uh, the trade relationship uh, between our two countries has almost quadrupled. Uh, I want to do what I can to encourage uh, U.S. businesses to continue to invest, to have Armenian uh, uh, companies as well come to the United States um, and expand globally. Uh, next week, we are getting ready for our Select USA conference, and I know that there are at least two Armenian companies uh, that are coming uh, to think about uh, ways that they can expand globally, uh, and I look forward uh, to wel welcoming even more uh, the following year. Thank you so much for this opportunity. You're welcome.